Uh, but getting into more reactive control, if you have you know a nuisance site that pops up like this and you have to do something immediately to go after it, you know these these are filamentous algae pictures on the left here. They can be all different colors. They sort of look like hair-like strands uh, uh, going across the water body. But uh, you know nutrient you know management can be a key factor here. But in terms of reactive, some of our copper products down here, Sea Clear, uh, KT, and Captain XTR are going to be are going to be the best to, to go after these you know filamentous algae mats that can be both on the surface and covering the bottom of a of a pond and and usually you know which one of those usually see clear if it's a bright green this time of year spirogyre or something that see clear is going to be a, you know your best go to product there if it's something real thick and nasty and sort of black colored you probably want to go straight to the captain XTR and no irrigation restrictions on those. And here's a close-up of one type of algae called lingbia. This is a toxin producer, taste and odor producer, smells nasty, but it has this big thick mucilaginous sheath on it too. So this is a this is a bad one. It forms those big thick black mats, but but that's something where Captain XTR can really help us get control of this type of a new now, if you run into something, you know, these thick mat formers, a real thick, nasty scum, and you don't know what to, what to do with it, you don't know where to begin, uh, like lingbia, for example, these, these thick filaments with mucilaginous sheath on it, real slimy, you know, Captain XTR is going to be your go-to algicide in these situations. You know, it has a surfactant built right in. It is a chelated copper, and there's no irrigation restrictions, but it can it can control tough algae through this concept of infusion. It's sticking to the algae, getting right through the defenses, and getting you good control of a lot of these thick mats. So, you know, great, one of the toughest uh, algicidal products out there. To the algae side, uh, Sea Clear. I mentioned this one. This is a neat one. This is this is the one you should be using routinely. This is your go-to foundation to routine algae management programs. It's, it is a copper-based algae site, you know, so there's no irrigation restrictions, but it's a lot more than that. It's the only registered water quality enhancer, so it's improving clarity, it's taking out a little bit of phosphorus with every application, and really being proactive against those algae. It can, can get you great con control, but also give you long-term control uh, with this Sea Clear program. So right around two and a half to five gallons per surface acre every two to three weeks, and, and that will offset the majority of your algae issues. And, uh, you know, just a little data here with Sea Clear, comparing it with copper sulfate. You know, with the Sea Clear program, we're able to rapidly get control of some of your nuisance scum forming cyanobacteria. This is mainly microcystis here, but we kept it down. We got long term control. We took out some nutrients. We changed that system, you know, with that water quality enhancer piece and, uh, you know, really gave us a good foundation for a routine program. Whereas copper sulfate, you know, it can work, it can kill some algae certainly, but it didn't do anything to change that environment. That algae grew right back and you needed another application of copper sulfate. And uh, often you fall into that, you know, routine there. So again, Sea Clear much more, you know, proactive, but also can be very good reactive, you know, control of some of these nuisance types.